All right, guys, if you're in the market to buy one of these Huna excavators that's all metal, I'm going to give you guys a lowdown right quick, give you guys a quick review, and let you know what you're getting and how it performs. So let's get into the live action. All right, so first off, it's an all metal construction. I believe that the, the metal is of a zinc type or magnesium. It's really heavy, but I know it's not steel, which is completely fine. This thing digs incredibly. Um, the boom has a lot better function than the, uh, which unit am I thinking of? The newest one, the white one that has the plastic body, but they both perform excellently. All metal, everything. Um, I have used this really hard for about a month now, and I have really, really put it to its paces. I haven't had to do anything to it other than I had to clean it um, once because it got to where it was, it was tracking a little bit slow. Had a lot of sand and dirt built up here in the undercarriage. As you can see, I still have a lot, but our drive sprockets, which is called your final drive, it's still in really good shape. Um, the only thing is our idlers, some of those did start to stick. You can see it wore a flat spot on one of them. I'll eventually have some of these machined by my brother and um, I'll have some new, you know, all these new stuff replaced. So you can see the flat spots on the idlers. Doesn't hurt the performance. I mean, with an excavator, once you get to where you're working, really you don't need to move it anymore much. The, uh, the digging capabilities of this thing, I have YouTube videos of this thing absolutely ripping through some rocky, dirty, dirty ground. And it does phenomenal. Um, the speed of this machine's slightly slower when it comes to digging, but the digging force is incredible. Um, I would say it's probably got about two pounds worth of, of actually ripping strength, if not more, which is pretty dang impressive for something that's, you know, under $500 on Amazon. One thing I did have to do to this machine was, um, I took it apart and I cleaned out the, the swing on it, which I'll fire it up right quick. So, let me cut this noise off. So, it had a slight catch about right there that had, uh, had a little bit of sand that found its way in there. I took it all apart and cleaned it, and now it's perfect. And see, we track just fine. <coughs> and uh, everything thus far has performed perfect. Now, I have a comparison video between this one and the other Huna that I have. But I haven't actually done like a uh, review video with this one. Now, if I'm going to buy another excavator, which I think I'm thinking about doing... I'll probably get another one of these for the simple fact is it's reliable. It's got a very, I mean, everything is metal, so it's very well constructed. And uh, the digging force on this thing is incredible. And the battery life, the battery life is around, honestly, I've dug with this thing for a good solid hour to an hour and a half. And it stayed perfect. One thing is the sticker, like right here, it's kind of starting to come off, but you know, I mean, that's nothing. That's just cosmetic. We can always get new stickers. But other than that, this thing is clean and it, um, it does phenomenal. We're gonna have some mining videos with it soon. I would go out and mine today, but since the rain is here, I don't want to get them out in this mess because it's pretty nasty outside but all right guys that's just a quick little overview of the Tratco. and um if you're looking at getting one of these i would definitely do it for the simple fact they work and um you know they're built well so yeah guys check it out that's the cat 
Huna All Metal Excavator. Y'all make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see y'all on the next one.